From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories increasing concerns about the crime situation after police report another murder. The 16th for the year already. This one in the capital in the inner city area again. Police say there was a shooting incident in the Lincoln Boulevard area late Monday night. They found a man with gunshot wounds to the face. He was taken to hospital, but doctors couldn't save him. He's been tentatively identified as Kendrick Ferguson, believed to be in his mid-20s. That came just hours after police found the body of a man on Carpenter Road with multiple injuries. Police still have not released an ID for that victim, and they're not sure what happened to him yet. Meantime, National Security Minister James is commenting on those rape allegations made against a Defense Force officer stationed in Inagua. I am very concerned about uh, uh, those allegations. You never want to be in a position uh, where you're working in any environment and persons are, are making allegations of that sort, that they're being harassed or assaulted by colleagues, especially those in Superior. The officer in question has been taken off the island and relieved of his duties pending a police investigation. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Gas prices in the capital taking a major jump. Shell has jumped 28 cents on the gallon price from 409 to 437. Esso also increasing by 13 cents up to 415. Rubis remains at 401 for now. Oil prices around the world now increasing to pre-COVID levels. Health officials continue to watch the coronavirus numbers for the country and they continue to be good. Just two cases reported on Monday, one in Abaco, one in Andros, none in the capital for the second straight day. There's a slight increase in hospital numbers, 14 persons in now. Two of them in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. Health officials waiting for the vaccine to get here. Bombers Power and Light says mechanical failure led to that power outage here in the capital yesterday, affecting hundreds of consumers. The company says it has addressed the issue. Immigration Minister Johnson says the Abaco Shanty Town issue will be treated humanely. Government officials looking into concerns of the return of Shanty Towns to the island. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny skies, highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 79 at Freeport, 80 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Partly cloudy skies tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous new year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines. While the world watches the second impeachment trial of former U.S. President Trump, countries continue the coronavirus vaccination rollout. Some countries are still reporting spread concerns, but the focus is now on vaccination. The U.S. Senate moving into the second day of the Trump impeachment trial today. There's no indication that Republican senators are going to vote to convict the president, though. Weather-making news, a major cold spell has hit the northern U.S. Temperatures are below zero in some areas. A major cold snap across Europe also. Workers forced to use blow torches to get ice off France's Eiffel Tower. There are major travel issues in Europe because of the cold weather. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week. Shell now at 4.37, SO 4.15, Rubus $4.01 per gallon here in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the very last sports on the Super Bowl and a report on how Buddy Heal did against the Sixers in the NBA. The Tribune Sports has the latest on the Australian Open Tennis Tournament and a special report on Tanika Sandiford, who is making a name for herself as a golf caddy on the LPGA Tour and found out how the Barrio Ford baseball camp is operating in the coronavirus era. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.